Hello, welcome to Shaw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Um, in the chapel, I'll give thanks unto the Lord for he is good and for his mer mercy endureth forever. That is Psalms 136 1. Um, just, you know, life has ups and downs, and right now I'm just really in one of those tight ones, and eh, it'll pass don't know how just know that God's got a plan so um, yeah all right let's move right on into it totally hooked the only thing that I did get done now, I've had a few setbacks in my crocheting so just so you know I got the last cowl done um, for work I have started another headband but I think it's just gonna be for me um, it's not, they're not very, um, hard. They're just a rectangle. And then I showed you how to put them together to make them into a headband, make that little twisted look. I still have the hat that I'm working on for the gentleman in the office. It'll get there. This is just September. And so, um, I still have, you know, a little bit of time to do. Um, I have been working on this one, but this is where I run into a little problem. So this is this scarf here, or wrap, I guess they call it. And oops, about to pull out a stitch there. Oh, did pull one out, but that's okay. And as you can tell, it's getting longer which is good but um this yarn by the grace of god which is the one that pulls apart so easy and just not good um i uh, haven't had any trouble with that one but this is the second time little man um worm loves yarn so it's still pulling from the center I have all of this sorted out so that it would do I know it looks horrible but it's actually kind of sort of sort of yarn barf um, as I use more of it I'm pretty sure I will have to sort more out but he is really trying my nerves because when I did this cowl um, he did it to the to this one as the same you can see from the end here he has kind of gotten it and so even though I have them in plastic bags, um, I have them in a, uh, I have them in my knitting basket, and I have them in the plastic bags. Well, let me show you what he does. Even if they're in plastic bags, let me see if I can find what he did. Here we go. Yeah, and he will pull it through. I don't know why he likes crochet or yarn so much he's done it since he was little um it i'm just not sure i think he's a cat honestly he goes after yarn for more things than i have ever known so i don't know um he does get his butt spanked and he gets in trouble but it doesn't seem to deter him all that much so it is what it is all right that is really all i've been working on i want to get that um wrap done uh and i've decided i'm not going to start anything else i said this last week and i got the bag done i got the cowl done i've got the hat to do and this one and i'm not starting anything else now that doesn't stop my kit of the month from coming i'm having trouble with my camera i don't know why it's not wanting to focus very good um, I got my kit of the month and I decided I'm not going to start it, but once again, it is blankets and they're small blankets. So the yarn itself is amazing. It's called super soft. It's by Zeman. And I got four skeins of the blue and I got four skeins of the pink 
and they don't really have colors on them they just have this one is 089 one is 99 lot number 872 and lot 496 so they're super soft like amazingly soft beautiful yarn um so i don't know if i make baby blankets i'm just not from a family that has like lots of grandkids um but because of the position i'm in right now um money's getting a little tight we don't do the sheep and goats so as whereas we normally would have had a, a fall paycheck to get us through the winter we're not having that anymore so i was thinking i might make these and put them up for sale but since i'm not doing a booth where am i going to sell them and with them being acrylic i don't know uh, i don't know so anyway this is another hexagon blanket for the pink okay um let me show you this close-up picture it's kind of cute and then the other one is a baby diamonds blanket and it's the blue one i mean i could do either or each way if i wanted to um so i don't know don't really need baby blankets and that's why i took that those other two kids and i made a poncho um i don't know i may make these and just put them up for sale but selling acrylic is not my thing but i don't know i normally do hand spun hand dyed stuff so i don't know just don't know um, I don't have anything in the pods. I still have the domestic on the wheel. Um, and I haven't done a whole lot with that. But in the fields, just <coughs> buying organic at the grocery store. I haven't even, it has been so hot. This is one of the hotter summers on record. It's been like 107, 110. The dogs can't even walk on concrete because it burns their paws. Uh, worm is carried everywhere because he literally just goes out to go potty and stuff um even at work he's not and i'm not the only one that takes him out at work there's other people that work there and they all love him and they take him out potty anytime they think he needs to go but they do not let him walk on the concrete um i'm kind of fuddy duddy about that i don't want his feet burnt so um hitch is doing okay um, he had a little episode the other night. For those of you who don't know, um, he's got an enlarged heart with a pretty bad heart murmur. He got really worked up and just couldn't catch his breath a whole lot. And we just had to calm him down. Um, he did this little gaspy thing like he was gasping for air. And I know it's because he was running and it was, and we don't. I try not to let see they're in here playing and they will play all day long but I try not to let them outside to play until the evening but even at seven eight o'clock at night even at ten o'clock at night the other night it was still in the 80s and humid so I want them to get out and get fresh air I want them to get sunshine but it's just too much um, it's just too hot so we're hoping that you know with fall coming this is august september the, that's known as the dog days of summer around here so i think they said we had about 20 more days 21 like three more weeks before it starts to cool down i'm hoping it comes a whole lot sooner to be honest with you so there hasn't been anything going on in there rj's world the truck goes over next week to a different mechanic he um did get talked into taking a job um it's not a kind of job you think he's riding um horses at the local sale barn so he will be pushing cattle back and he can use his own young horses that the ones that he's supposed to ride anyway he's getting paid to ride them they'll be around the clanking chutes and the cattle and all that stuff and it'll do both good for both so um he did take a little job that because he said mom i'm kind of getting nervous about the winter it's really getting tight around here and he says if i don't do something you know it's it's going to get even tighter and he is right 
So, um, with the truck breaking down and it setting us back, you know, quite a bit, it's gotten tight. Everybody's life gets tight. You got these times where it's going good, and then you get these times where, oh my goodness. So, we're in, oh my goodness, but it'll get back there. It, it's nothing that, you know, God doesn't give us anything we can't handle. And if he gave it to us, he's going to take care of it. He, he's got a path to take care of it. So... Yeah, I've been doing that. Um, I had Krista this week, so I didn't get as much time to crochet. Uh, I did take time with her, and we were reading a book called Storm, Misty's Baby. And she is loving it. Uh, so we do that when she's around. Roommate is still on overtime, so I have the house to myself like... Roommates working four tens and two eights. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I have the house all to myself from about six in the morning till six at night. And then um, Friday and Saturday, um, on the Saturdays that I don't work, um, and on the Fridays I don't work, roommate gets home about four. So I'm having lots of time by myself, but with things being so tight, I've just kind of been working on projects around here. Um, hey, quit. Um, so one of the things that I did last week was I made the dogs matching scarves, bandanas, and I made me a matching mask, okay? So, yeah. Well, I dug out some scraps and some other stuff, and I... Uh, found some really cute ones and Hitch and Worm have their one of theirs on. So I've decided I'm going to use up these scraps instead of just leaving them. So Worm will probably have some as he grows. This one is going to be another space one, but instead of lined with white, it's just going to be lined with space. Um, so he'll have an extra one of those, but I did find some really cute <laughs> weenie dog um material and i'm gonna make i'm making roommate a mask too just because i want to be funny i have enough material and i still have it. and that's actually a scrap with another uh, of the space ones on it because i am i'm going to use them all make all different kinds so um right now worm and hitch are wearing flames so and i had an extra do an extra one for worm and then I have the cutouts. I haven't put them together yet. Um, so I I cut them all out in one day. And I'm going to sew them all in one day. So I've got the weenie dogs. And I've got masks, two masks and two bandanas. One for Hitch and one for Worm. And then I've got one that's blue with paws. And this scrap, you know, came from doing the Christmas bags and that. But it's just solid blue. And, and this is enough to make my mask. And this is enough to make roommate's mask. And then I just have thin elastic for the earpieces. Um, so, yeah. But I'm thinking I might do those today. I've got laundry going and all kinds of stuff that I need to get done. Because I didn't do laundry the other day. And there's a reason I didn't do laundry the other day. Um, I did have Tuesday off and I had Krista, but that morning I am down to my last pair of contacts. So th this is why things are getting tight. I'm down to my last pair of contacts. My car had to be tagged. Um, the truck has to be tagged and RJ's father's car has to be tagged. And so everything's just getting a little tight. Also, uh, the cripple cap could barely get up anymore so it was time for him to go to slaughter so I have got a slaughter bill coming in um, it just seems like all of it's coming at once so um, I do have vision insurance so I got off kind of cheap I just had to pay so far $35 for my contact fitting and um, my copay then I'll have to turn around and I haven't paid it yet, but I've got the money set aside for it because if I don't, I'm going to live too tight. I'm going to blow it. You know, uh, I live too tight not to set it aside when I have it. So, um, I, uh, have to pay for a year's worth of contacts 
which mine, hey, 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 guys, quit. My contacts are monthly, so I have to buy 12 pair, and then I get $130 of it paid for, but I have to pay the rest of it, and that doesn't, if I decide to upgrade my glasses to my new prescription, which this year I'm not going to, my eyes haven't changed enough, so I'm not going to do that. Um, I, I, it's just, all those little things add up. You know, $200 here, $400 there. Uh, it's $500 for the slaughter, $150 for my car, $150 for glasses and, or my contacts and my eye thing. It just adds up. And so, um, when you're changing a lifestyle, you have an adjustment period anyway. Car tags, you know, uh, RJ, anything that RJ's name is on can get, um, an Indian tag. My car is only in my name, so I don't get Indian tags, so I don't get any breaks on that. Um, so I pay full price for my tag and stuff. Um, and it is the newest vehicle that we own. So, yeah. There's that. <laughs> so it just, like I said, everybody has ups and downs. We're dealing with it. I am kind of turning on the crafty side, doing a little more sewing and um, some crocheting. I want to get those done. Uh, get those kits done that before I start anything new and then hey 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 you two better not be getting into anything um, I am spending time with the dogs time here at the house I haven't started any projects around the house this front room has gotten done and I really like it and uh, oops, lost a piece of elastic and hey what are you doing what are you doing? This is Warm, and he has on his flames, as you can tell. And he is a crazy dog. So, the other thing that I have been doing is, I, I know I mentioned it last week, but I've come, I think I've come a long way. But I have learned different styles. I haven't really learned anything. I'm just practicing on that one little tune that I know. And there's different styles. And that's the same as. So it just depends on which way you play it. And I'm just learning different stuff. I, I'm not real keen on the strumming. I can't get it even with my nails. I'm not going to cut them off. I do them myself. No, I don't pay because money's tight. If I have the money and I do want to splurge, I will go and have them done, but they're there. And I like them. They're my one thing. Even farming, I didn't clip them off. Um, they'll break from time to time, but um, so Anyway, I don't know if it's my nails or what, but when I strum, that's supposed to be an open G, but I don't hit all the um, strings evenly. I'm actually better at coming up. So, yeah. I'm not real big on the strumming, but I do like the picking. And I do like the sound of... But I like the picking better. And I did play around. And if you ever watched Ice Castles, this isn't, I'm sure, but it is a tune. At the very beginning, um, that theme song, that plays through the whole thing. But I don't remember the rest of the song. I just was playing with the banjo and found it. And it might be off a of key or so, but anyway, just playing. So I'm keeping busy. Um, and honestly, I think with things getting tight, it's always a blessing because you get more done around the house. Um, we're budgeting more. 
we are, um, of course, with the slaughter of the steer, we'll have meat. So we'll just have to buy, you know, veggies, milk, bread. And that's what RJ and I were talking about is with this lifestyle change, I used to milk goats and we always had milk and we always had chickens, which um, the coyotes got eh, just over a year ago. And with the lifestyle change, RJ decided he just wasn't going to do that. And he said, you know, that lifestyle is, he says, now I understand a little bit more. And he says, but is it worth the work? So, um, he's like, I don't know. You know, you have to put out the money to get the birds back. And if he does that, that's a, a pretty big gamble, you know. Um, the heat lamps, the tubs that we use. I mean, we have all that stuff, but it's still a lot of work to get them going. Once you get them going, sure, you get eggs, but eggs are like a dollar something at Walmart right now. So he can still go and get eggs and milk and have a lot less in it. And he doesn't make a special trip to town, neither do I. We just pick it up when we're in town. So it's not like, you know, it is what it is. Um, we pick everything up on the way home. We make one list and we're sticking to our budgets. So yeah, that is what it is. Um, I'm just adjusting. Everybody's adjusting. Um, when you farm, you have different paychecks throughout the year. Um, it gets tight when you don't have them. Like I said, RJ picked up a little job to make sure he can make his truck payment through the winter. Um, yeah, it is what it is. And so it, lifestyle changes are just that lifestyle changes. And so we have to adjust and adapt, which is fine. But by the grace of God, we'll get through it. And I know it's not a lot of, um, crocheting, but I haven't had a whole lot of time and I am spreading it out over, you know, crocheting and the dogs and, and I do have work. So, um, yeah i think that's about it for this week sorry it's kind of short but we'll see what i get into next week <laughs> i'll talk to y'all later bye